Are you a new Muslim looking for support or someone looking to give back to the Ummah as a volunteer? If so, head over to helpforreverts.org and create an account. It's completely free and accessible wherever you are in the world. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton in Saudi Arabia said the following. The LGBT community, there's, there's um, prison time, death penalty for that, that and restrictions from, from people from being themselves and I don't believe in that. Um, religions can change, religions can change, rules can change, rulers can change those things, they have the power to. He might be good at driving a car, but he seems to be driving his intellect down a cliff, mate. LOL. Changes. I see no changes. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself, what is this? They tend to occur when something is either incomplete or defective. That may be true for other faiths, to their admission I might add, like the Bible, but not the Muslims and not Islam. We believe that it is complete, perfect and objectively from God. And God's law being corrected by man is the height of arrogance. How can an imperfect being correct a perfect being? He believes that the modern world is superior and the flag bearer and it's Islam that needs to change. We on the other hand claim the opposite. So for you to refute that you have to prove that modernity and liberalism is true and correct from first principles. Go ahead mate, let me guess, you got a race on now yeah? Okay, and going to the LGBT logic which goes as following. Because I have a desire for a sin, therefore it's not a sin anymore. Ta -da. But we're all born with a propensity to sin. It doesn't mean that it's okay. It just means that life is a test and to deal with your desires in the correct way. Just like the opposite gender, just like wanting to eat certain foods and have certain drinks. You have to control it. Having desires doesn't mean that that thing is okay or should become okay now. And let's look at this ideology that Lewis Hamilton seems to think that no, when it comes to this, religions need a change mate. This is an ideology that believes that sex and gender is not biological, just because of a strong feeling and a strong desire for something. It forces the rest of us to pay for gender surgery and might I add, millions just so they can learn how to speak like the opposite gender. What? Then what's, what's going on mate? And now people are saying that if sex can be changed and biology is discarded, I mean a 52 year old can identify as a 6 year old because let's face it, if you desire something, hey who should be able to stop you? And that's why you've got humans identifying as cats and also people saying incest. It should be alright now. All because oh I feel a certain way. And this is the thing that is ruining our society. This put in your feelings above anything and everything else. Yeah this liberalism, this Jeremy Bentham's utilitarianism principle that something is good if it's more pleasurable and it's bad if there's more pain. Nah, we as Muslims get our morality from God. Islam is perfect. It has been sent to guide us till the day of judgment. It contains principles so that we can deal with modern challenges but no, those principles don't change. We change according and in line with those principles to have a successful life and a successful hereafter. And I invite you Lewis Hamilton to do the same. I know people like him are under pressure because let's face it if you're a celebrity and you don't align yourself with the LGBT movement, I mean your career can be affected significantly. Alright guys let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.